Let's now take you to Mpumalanga, where the ANC says it's all systems go for its elective conference, which kicks off tomorrow. More than 700 voting delegates from three regions will participate in the conference. Now, our reporter Mbali Tetani is in Emalaseni, where the Mpumalanga ANC task team has just wrapped up a media briefing. Mbali, a very good afternoon to you. We know that uh, just yesterday we we're listening in to disgruntled members who made several threats ahead of this uh, conference. It's certainly right, and Paul. The ANC here in Mpumalanga say that uh, they are going ahead uh, with their 13th uh, conference. It is taking place right here in Whitbank. And of course, we know that uh, there have been a number of delays uh, when it comes to holding uh, this specific conference. And they have said that the reasons why uh, they've continued to postpone uh, this uh, conference, especially this year, uh, is because that they were continuing to go through uh, their delegates and they wanted to ensure that when they do indeed hold uh, this conference, uh, they, they do so uh, after going through a thorough process. But we know at the same time, while they say they are ready, uh, we know that some of their members are taking uh, the party to court because they are disputing uh, this conference and they are disputing uh, the PTT that sits uh, in this province. But, of course, joining us to give us more information when it comes to uh, the Mpumalanga conference is, of course, Lindy Wenjali Njali. Now, Lindy, where you are saying that it's all systems go uh, for your conference, and you are saying that you've also met your threshold uh, to continue uh, with the conference here in Mpumalanga. Yes, uh, thank you very much, and uh, greetings to your viewers at home. As the ANC in Pumalanga, who have met the conference threshold, in Pumalanga we've got 400 branches, and our threshold is 280. Where we are sitting, we are having 314 branches, which is signed off by the Treasurer General as on behalf of the SGO. So we have received it, uh, our report on the 15th of March, and we embarked on a rigorous process with uh, the branch delegates because you started at the PGM where if not satisfied we also took those matters to if they were not happy to a dispute uh, process there is a provincial dispute resolution committee once a verdict has been issued if you are not satisfied or happy then you can take that uh, back to uh, an appeal national to your NDRC which NDRC has listened to all issues raised but we must learn and our comrades must learn this that we adopt conference uh, resolution and there's guidelines that we've adopted and adopted by the ANC in terms of NEC, how we run conferences. Once NTRC issues a verdict, it's a final arbiter. So yes, there are members who are still not happy and nobody can be 100% satisfied because sometimes the preferences down there from branches, they differ from one branch to the other. But we tried very hard as Mpumalanga to follow the newly adopted guideline in terms of how we hold our conferences. And some of the members of the ANC, they are not used to the new membership system. We had to make sure that uh, members, we teach them about the new membership system, making sure that they activate their online profile. Some of them, they still think that banking your form, then it makes you a member. And yet you must activate yourself, your online profile, so that we make sure that you are part of the ANC membership. And one once you walked out or you disrupt the meeting, guidelines are clear that you cannot dispute and all dispute on behalf of other branches. So where we are, we have tried to work and make sure that all our branches meet the requirements and all our branches, they adhere to the guidelines that has been adopted nationally. Tomorrow, the High Court in Johannesburg is expected to hear this urgent interdict to hold uh, this conference. Should uh, that go ahead and indeed your members win that matter, will you then come back and sit again? Uh, you see, we don't want to preempt what the court will say. Let that matter sit. We've got our own uh, legal representatives who are representing the ANC and who are defending that. And once the court has ruled and given a verdict on this matter, the Mpumalanga and the ANC nationally, we shall comply. So where we are, we don't, where all systems go, conference proceeds, let the court sit. It's not for the first time. Remember, we're in Mangaun somewhere in court. We're in Nazarek somewhere in court. And where we are, we're saying... We have done our things procedurally and followed all our processes in the ANC. So we are confident that uh, there, there is no agent matter on this because some of the matters that has been raised before the court, 
NEC has ratified this decision. And in between the National Executive Committee, you've got your NWC. These matters of postponement of conferences, that conferences must sit in March. NEC took that decision when there was still hard lockdown. So where we are, we're confident. All right, thank you very much. Of course, that is Lindy Wenjalinjali from the ANC here in Mpumalanga, saying that despite the disputes uh, taking place tomorrow in the High Court in Johannesburg, uh, this province is going to go ahead with its conference.